Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have another ranked VGC battle. And uh, so yeah, you can see our opponent for this one is going to be Jamie. Um, again, just the person they uh, threw us up against randomly here. So um, looking at their team looks to be uh, pretty strong, uh, pretty interesting as well. Looking at my team, it is going to be the same one uh, that we've been using the past few games here, obviously, with the um, the Thunderous and the Grimmsnarl. Uh, emphasis on the Thunderous and the Grimmsnarl, I should say. And uh, yeah, so what do I want to lead with in this one? Hmm. Um. <clears throat> Good question. Um, I think we're going to go with the, we'll go with the Thunderous and the Toad Scroll, and we'll back that up with the Scissor or the Barrascuta. Well, I'll do the Scissor and the Grimmsnarl, and we'll see how that works out. So, uh, yeah, again, just trying to see how well we can do in these uh, doubles matches here. And, um, yeah, so far we've been uh, doing pretty well. So we'll see if we can keep that up in this one. So there he is. And he's going to lead with the Blissey and the Annihilate as we lead with the Thunderous and the Toad Scroll. So um, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and... Um, I think we'll Volt Switch, actually. Um, we're going to go ahead and Volt Switch on the Annihilate. Um, and then I think we're going to go ahead and also... I think we'll also Earth Power the Annihilate. So we'll double up on the Annihilate and try to get rid of that thing right out of the gate here. As uh, There we go. There's the Volt Switch. Going to do uh, about a third damage, which is pretty good damage to the Annihilate. Um, and we do get the pivot out, so off of that, I think we're going to come in with the... We'll come in with the scissor. Yeah, we'll come in with the scissor. So there it is. And then Toad Scroll going to Earth Power the Annihilate, and it's not nearly enough to take that thing out, unfortunately, but we do get big damage. Annihilate going to go for the Drain Punch in return on the Toad Scroll, which is going to do about half, and it is going to heal that thing up quite a bit, which is unfortunate. Um, Blissey going to go then for the Seismic Toss, taking 50 damage off the Toad Scroll. Um, that is going to put us in range of our Citrus Berry, so we're going to go ahead and get some HP back thanks to that, which will leave us at about half health. So, um... I think our strategy should probably be the same this turn. Um, we probably want to double up on the Annihilate again to try to get rid of that thing. So we're going to bullet punch it with the Scissor, and we're once again going to Earth Power it with the Toad Screw. We really need to get rid of that Annihilate now. So there's the bullet punch. It is Punching Glove boosted. It's not quite enough to take the Annihilate out, as uh, it actually uh, outspeeds the Toad Screw this time, so it's a speed tie. Going to Drain Punch to get some HP back. Hopefully not enough to survive this next Earth Power as we go for it with the Toad Screw, and it is enough to go ahead and take that Annihilate out, which is great for us and uh, that will knock him down to three Pokemon as the Blissey going to go for the Heal Pulse here trying to uh, heal the Annihilate but obviously it's going to fail since the Annihilate was knocked out so that was a very productive turn for us as now the Cerule Edge is going to come in so um, unfortunately both of our Pokemon in play here are going to be weak to fire so that's obviously bad um, I think what we want to do here because obviously the Cerule Edge cannot hit both of us. So I think what we're going to do now... Hmm, how do we want to play this? I think we're going to try to get rid of that Blissey, actually. So we're going to go close combat on the Blissey here. And um, we're going to attempt to spore the Cerule Edge as well. Um, and see where that gets us here as... Um, Cerule Edge going to Bitter Blade on the Toad Scroll, unfortunately... Um, which is going to obviously be more than enough to take it out, knocking us down to uh, three as the Scissor going to close combat the Blissey, and that will be enough to get rid of that Blissey in one shot, which is great, dropping our defenses in the process, 
as well, um, but it is worth it to get rid of that thing and um, knock him down to two. So uh, we have a little bit of a choice to make now. Um, I feel like our best play here is going to be to come in with the Grim Snarl, actually. So that's what we're going to do as uh, we come in with the Grim Snarl. And uh, his last Pokemon is going to be the Greninja. Okay, so Greninja is in. And so this is an interesting situation for us. Um, I think what we do here... Ah, I think uh, Scissor's probably going down this turn, unfortunately. Um, so I think we probably bullet punch just to get chip damage on something, and I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking getting damage on the Cerule Edge is probably going to be more important here, so we're going to bullet punch the Cerule Edge, and we are also going to, I think, sucker punch the Cerule Edge. That combination may be enough to take it out. Uh, we're just going to have to hope that it is. So that's our plan. As uh, he is going to go ahead and bust out the Terra. So which one of his Pokemon is going to Terra here? It is going to be the Cerule Edge. What is it going to Terra into? Fire. Okay, so it is going to unfortunately lose that weakness. Um, it's going to lose the weakness to Dark, which is unfortunate. Um, we are going to get a Bullet Punch off for some chip damage. Going to do some decent chip damage, actually, that thing, as we Sucker Punch with the Grim Snarl. Not quite enough to take it out, unfortunately, as Greninja is going to go for a Liquidation, which is interesting, taking the Grim Snarl down by about half. Um, Cerule Edge, unfortunately, going to go for a Bitter Blade here, no doubt targeting the Scissor, uh, which will obviously finish it off, which is quite unfortunate, and it is going to regain a bunch of health, uh, putting it up above half now, thanks to that. So... Um, that is going to drop us down to two, so it is uh, two versus two as we are going to regain some HP with the leftovers on the Grim Snarl. So um, we really only have one play at this point here. That is obviously to go ahead and come in with the Thunderous. So what we're going to do in this situation is we are going to go ahead and bust out our Terra on the Thunderous, terrestrializing into a pure electric type, and we're going to have to go for the Wild Bolt Storm here and hope that we can hit both of them with it, which is something that we have not been able to do with the Wild Bolt Storm yet, and we're also going to Sucker Punch once again on the Cerule Edge, I think, and uh, we'll hope that that's enough to uh, get rid of that thing. So, um, yeah, we're going to hope for the best here, hope that we have a little bit of luck on our side here, as uh, we're going to Terrastalize that Thunderous into the Electric type just to get the power boost, essentially, on the uh, Wild Bolt Storm. And we are going to outspeed with the Sucker Punch. It's not quite enough to take the Cerule Edge out. We go for the Wild Bolt Storm. It looks like it is going to connect with both Pokemon here. And it is going to be enough to take both the Cerule Edge and the Greninja out um, from their remaining HP, which is incredible for us. So Thunderous uh, coming up big for us right there as the Cerule Edge goes down. And that is game. All right, so we are going to win that one 2-0 against Jamie, but that was a good match, actually. Pretty fast-paced, high-octane, fun game there. And, uh, yeah, another uh, good showing for us here in VGC-ranked doubles, which is, which is nice. So... Get some points, which is nice. And we're going to back out here and then we're going to take a look at uh, our level up here and for the first time ever we actually level up to the pokeball tier rank four so how about that and we're going to get a bunch more uh, points as well which is always handy and so yeah as you can see we are actually four and zero oh, undefeated here in vgc ranked um, which is pretty cool actually um so, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So, um, I think we will go ahead and close out of um, Battle Stadium real fast here. 
while I make a couple of quick announcements for you guys. So, um, this is actually going to be my last battle here for uh, this session of VGC uh, ranked doubles games. So, reason being is because I'm sure all of you are aware at this point that uh, the first part of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Teal Mask, is upon us now. So, um, as and also as you guys may or may not remember, um, as I mentioned a couple of videos back, I am actually going to be going on vacation for about a week at this point as well. So, um, game plan for uh, the channel at this point is going to be this. Uh, you'll probably see a little bit of a break here in content for a couple of weeks while I take my vacation. Um, trust me, it is much needed. Um, and uh, we're going to... Um, like I said, have a couple of weeks off, I think, while I am on vacation. Also, while I am going to play through the uh, Teal Mask DLC. And uh, yeah, I'm going to come back with some uh, big announcements. Uh, we're going to go back to having some brand new singles teams as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, put our foot back on the gas pedal uh, once we come back here from all of that. So... Uh, but yeah, we might also probably have a uh, captain's table talking about the DLC as well. So, uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new videos in the future. I am very excited to um, see the DLC. I'm excited to uh, get a bunch more Pokemon back that we haven't had access to here on Scarlet and Violet and uh, play through it, and then excited to... Um, get back to making some brand new singles teams for you guys. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. That's it, and we'll see you next time.